Hey, sweet friends. How are my friends doing today? I hope you guys are doing fabulous. I miss you. I am so enjoying doing these read alouds with you guys, though. And I'm really enjoying seeing how well you're doing on the AR test, guys. You're doing a great job recalling details and answering um, those questions about the stories that Miss Wainwright's reading. And they've all been like third, fourth grade level books. We're going to read The Great Gracie Chase today. And it's a third grade level book. It's called The Great Gracie Chase. Stop that dog. And it's written by one of my favorites, Cynthia Ryland. And it's illustrated by Mark Teague. So I hope you guys really enjoy this book. Have you ever had to try to stop a dog? Oh, they take off and you just can't even get a hold to them. Once there was a little round dog named Gracie Rose. She was a very good dog. She helped the bigger dog watch the house. She helped the kitty. She kept him company. She even sang to the fish when it was lonely. Oh, how sweet is that? She is really cute and she is really, really round. Look at her. You see, Gracie loved a quiet house. She loved the kitty sleeping on the windowsill, the big dog sleeping on the couch, the quiet fish going ploop, ploop. For Gracie, a quiet home was the best home. Gracie Rose was good every single day of her life except for one. The day the painters came. Uh oh, I wonder what happened. I think they were making a lot of noise. Maybe they were disturbing her. Gracie did not like painters, but she did not know that until the day they came to her house. So when they arrived one day to paint Gracie's kitchen, she did not like it. Here they came in a big, noisy truck. Bob's painting. We do our best. I love these colorful illustrations. There they were at the door with their clangy ladders and big person voices. There they were, dragging chairs across Gracie's quiet kitchen floor. Gracie Rose watched them with her ears straight up in the air, and she was not happy. She barked and barked and told them to go outside. But do you know what? Gracie was put outside. Ooh. What do you think is going to happen? Mm -hmm. I think you're right. She's probably going to run off. Uh-oh. And she did not like it one bit. So, Gracie, that silly little dog who loved a quiet house, decided to do something naughty. Gracie decided to take a walk all by herself. Someone had left the gate open. Probably a busy painter. Gracie was supposed to be a good dog and never go through that gate by herself. But she did. And when she was halfway down the street, she heard one, someone say loudly, Where's Gracie? And that began the great Gracie chase. Uh-oh. Because... When the people in the house came outside to find her and the painters came outside and the neighbors came outside and the garbage man stepped out of his truck and the paper boy stopped his bike and the delivery woman pulled over and everyone said, there's Gracie. Gracie started to run. Uh-oh. Gracie did not know why she was running, except that suddenly everybody in the world was trying to catch her, and she did not want to be caught. So Gracie ran down the street, and everybody else ran down the street, too. Gracie ran up the hill, and everybody else ran up the hill. Gracie ran across the schoolyard, and everybody else ran across the schoolyard. Yeah. 
Gracie ran through the water fountain and everybody else ran through the water fountain. Well, except the cat who did not like water fountains. We got everybody in the whole town chasing after Gracie. The chase got bigger. Stop that dog, everybody cried, which only made Gracie run faster. And soon the whole town was watching or running in the great Gracie chase. Poor little Gracie. She did not like this walk all by herself. It was too quick and too noisy, and all she wanted was to be beside her fish again. But she couldn't stop running now, because everyone wanted to catch her. So she ran, and ran, and ran, until pretty soon, the painters had to stop because they couldn't catch their breath, and the delivery woman had to stop because her feet hurt, and the paper boy had to stop because his bike broke. And someone else had to stop because she tripped and fell. And one by one by one, all the people had to stop because they could not keep up with Gracie. Then suddenly, Gracie realized how quiet everything was again. She looked behind her and the whole world was quiet. People were resting. How nice, Gracie thought. It is nice to have a quiet world and rest, don't you think? So, that silly little dog turned around and walked back home all by herself. The painters did not return to Gracie's house that day. They had to go take naps. <laughs> Gracie wore them out. They weren't used to all that running, were they? And once again, Gracie had a quiet home. She was happy. That silly little dog. And look at her. She's so stinking cute. Did you like that? I hope you like that book. Miss Wainwright will be sure and put the quiz number in the post of the read aloud. And I hope you guys We'll all take the AR test and see how well you remember. You might want to watch the video a couple of times before you take the test to make sure you remember all the great details in that story. I love you all, and I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.